Hello everyone. So last time uh, I made uh, for you the video about uh, how to stra draw straight lines and uh, today we will take another step and uh, I will show you how to start, how to set up your drawing, how to uh, set up the uh, vanishing points and the horizon and uh, I'm going to show you how to draw drawings in one point perspective so basically architecture we, we as people see architecture from the perspective of human and the average height of the human eye is 1 meter 70 centimeter so uh, the horizon for example uh, if we have the horizon line uh, and uh, you have uh, a, a man in the first plan. His head should be around this uh, this horizontal line, and uh, and yeah, we have one one person here. Then next head, but this person will be closer. But he will be or she will be bigger, and. One more, two more. Of course, you can uh, you can draw buildings from another pers perspective. From, for example, uh, assume uh, let's assume this is uh, one meter seventy centimeters. You could also draw from perspective of, for example, twenty centimeters, but the building will be look very weird and flat. Uh, in the ground because if you have this uh, height of perspective the sides can be here here is very wide bar here is some angle and the angle here here will be bigger but let's assume the horizon is here and if we would uh, draw uh, a horizon on the height of 20 centimeters, the building would look like very flat here. So we are losing the dynamics of the drawing and uh, realism of it. Another types of uh, drawings are from a bird perspective, but uh, I believe uh, I will make another episode about that. Okay, so. We are going to mark the horizon for this drawing. Now I have the pressure to draw straight line. Okay, here is the horizon. And let's assume our building is a square in foundation. So we have one point perspective and what does it mean? That means that we have only one vanishing point and let's place it here. I'm going to draw a, a human here, a human here. Okay, so from the vanishing point I will draw two lines which will indicate the sides side walls of the building remember always try to draw from the vanishing point outside not from outside to the vanishing point because of course you can draw this kind of line which uh, will uh, meet the meet the vanishing, vanishing point but uh, it is a good practice to start drawing a line from, from the vanishing point. Let's assume that this is our, our building. Like this is a floor plan from, from a top view. And this vanishing point will be here. So the eye looks like this. In 
front of the vanishing point. So here we will have this part, let's call it X or A, and this is A, and here the part B. Okay, so I'm going to connect this to those now. Also, don't be afraid to draw your, your line further than only just to the point. I could draw a line only to this point, but it's better to... I, I do this this way, that I draw the line uh, longer, because I believe it increases the overall experience how we see the drawing it increases the the feeling of the perspective and this line of course uh, we won't have wall here but uh, it, it can be some floor it, it helps to create proper space okay and maybe uh, we will cut out a piece from our building like this. Let's assume this is some kind of museum and uh, these are two buildings connected underground. Uh, here is the reception, for example. You, you can enter the museum here, use the elevator, go down. Maybe this is a restaurant part with opened tables on the, on the outside. I will draw now the vertical line here and one vertical line here to form a front wall, front elevation of the building. Now I will connect the crossing points with the vanishing point. So you see, if these walls would be infinitive, because we have that impression now that the walls wall starts here and uh, goes to the inf infinite the vanishing point there, point there, but uh, we will limit these walls somewhere here. Okay. Okay, so now we have all four walls and the flat roof of this building. I will sketch the isometric view of, of this. So we are this tiny human looking in this direction. And here is the cutout. Okay, this is front elevation. This one, this back wall will be this one, and the back of the building will be this small, this small wall. Okay, now 
we are going to uh, construct the the cutout in the in this cube. Okay, I have these edges and that creates other walls. We have one on this one and uh, second inside wall. And uh, we need also to draw uh, this uh, here on the drawing. So I'm going to connect the vanishing point with ends of this, of this edge. Okay, and the same on the on the other side. Great. And uh, again, we have these two these two infinite walls, but we need to limit them. And uh, as we have this back wall, this back wall will indicate where we should limit these these two walls. So you see the four points, which are crossing points of the back wall with these two walls. I'm going to connect them. Okay. So we have the basic construction of the drawing. Right now, what I'm going to do is uh, make some lines uh, bolder to indicate which are in the first plan, which should be in the background. So I will start with the walls from the, from the foreground. But I also need to make ticker this less important but still important lines because these are these are basically uh, like good lines and uh, they are not creating actual actual shape on the drawing but these edges of the walls are should be more visible so I'm going to mark them also. But now all the lines are in the same thickness, has the same thickness. So again, I need to make these lines uh, a little bit bigger. And I'm going also make bigger, thicker the lines uh, close to the base, because probably this area is darker than the area uh, in the higher uh, part of the wall. And uh, basically the rule is that in the darker places you could you should uh, make the lines thicker to indicate the less amount of light which is in this particular part. I'm going to, I want to enhance the perspective of the drawing and I will do so by drawing some uh, floor tiles on the ground. And now these lines are helpful. I will draw one tile. this one. Let's assume this is one tile. But uh, it is uh, a bit big. So I will divide it to the smaller parts. With the use of perspective, I will show you how to do this. Uh, you need to connect two opposite corners together. 
and again these two and the crossing point we're going to connect the vanishing point with the crossing point and now through the crossing point draw a line which is uh, which goes in the same direction like the horizon And this, in this way, we have already four smaller, smaller ties. We have another crossing point. Again, connect it from the vanishing point. Again, divide it here, and we have next smaller four, four smaller ties. And uh, now, how to? draw the floor uh, with, the, with the ties uh, in the same size. To do so, you need to do the same thing like when we were dividing the tile, but opposite. So imagine this is one small, small tile, one fourth or a bigger one. I will lengthen this line. And this line. And now, when I will connect these two crossing points and we lengthen this line, we have another crossing point of the edge of this building. And uh, this line is the same like start of this tile so this line is lengthened here so basically we are crossing this line with this edge and now connecting the vanishing point with this point will give us another tiles two tiles which are one here and one here. And again, now we are connecting these crossing points of this line again from the from the vanishing point. We will do the same to copy the ties uh, towards the uh, our camera point. So I will lengthen this to cross with this here, and we can do, we can do the same here. So basically, these two lines should cross in the same spot with this line. But there is some small mistakes in the perspective, it's not perfect and uh, we see the, the mistake here. But uh, we are spreading the perspective a lot in the bottom part here and it's very easy to make a mistake here. If you will expand the perspective uh, from infinite direction when we are drawing with hands we can't avoid this kind of, of mistakes so I can just uh, make some modification maybe here maybe I should draw this cross this crossing point a bit or to the left and then 
this line has a bit different angle. Yeah, and it's almost correct now. And opposite direction. I will continue in the same way to finish the floor. Now we need to set up the light, so let's assume that uh, a light goes from the uh, from here. Here we have the sun, and it's lighting this building. That direction. So on the drawing we will have this one light, this one also light, this will be light and this will be dark. But the lightness of these two walls will be a bit different. Not uh, a lot, but different, and uh, these two will be the same because basically this is the same line, the same the same wall, in the same surface, but with a cutout. I will also apply some light shade to this wall. So, so now we see that this wall has to be a bit darker. So I will uh, draw another layer of hatch on it. And uh, in the ad addition to these uh, shaded walls, I'm going to draw the cast shadow. I'm not going to explain how to draw cast shadows right now. I will prepare another video about that. I'm just going to draw it. Okay, so to finalize this uh, quick sketch, I will draw some shadow in the background and uh, enhance the, the people on the drawing.
Alright, thank you for watching. I hope you like this video and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and leave a thumb up. What would you like to see in the future? I'm, I'm very open to your opinions. So let me know. Okay, bye.